Uh, hello, my name is Andrew Bowser, and I'm a vascular surgeon here at uh, Hill Country Memorial Hospital. I've been practicing here for about eight years uh, in the Hill Country. Uh, we specialize in treatment of all vascular disease, basically uh, treating arteries and veins anywhere in the body except for the heart or the brain. So many of the common diseases that we treat are uh, involving the blood vessels, the arteries, uh, specifically blockage of the arteries, uh, for example, carotid artery disease that can cause stroke, uh, blockages of the arteries to the legs that can cause leg pain or even loss of a leg, and then uh, aneurysm disease uh, that can cause rupture of the blood vessel and death, and other uh, things like kidney failure, putting in dialysis shunts, things of that nature for people who have kidney failure and need dialysis. Those are the very common arterial things that we do. Uh, we treat a lot of venous disease as well, which would include blood clots in the legs, uh, varicose veins in the legs, and wounds of the legs caused by those blood vessels. So vascular surgeons would treat uh, patients based on observation or monitoring therapy. Uh, medical therapy or medical management, uh, endovascular treatment, which is with a needle and a, a balloon or a stent and less invasive, or open surgical therapy. I went to medical school in uh, Syracuse, New York, uh, upstate New York, through the SUNY State University of New York system. I did my residency training affiliated with the Air Force at Wright State University in Dayton, Ohio, uh, combined civilian and military program. And then I did my vascular surgery training in Tampa, University of South Florida, uh, under the uh, mentoring of Dr. Dennis Bandick, who's a very famous vascular surgeon. I was in the military for years as a vascular surgeon, trained in uh, the military, uh, and then served in the military. I was in the Air Force, had deployed to the war in Iraq and to Korea. And so we have really a pretty good breadth of experience in not only standard vascular surgery, but wartime vascular surgery and other management of uh, sort of complex uh, patient care, if you will.